EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Pittsburgh Invitational. Not on the fairway here. This could be a tough shot coming up next. Looks like about 80 yards left. Good swing, good shot yet again. I mean, this skill and that, that was sublime. Just good hands coming out of the rough, able to manage the distance, and now in great position. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Go ahead and do that for birdie. And let's go down to the sixth. Frank, this would be a good time to get it going. Made some pars to this point, but if you want to win, you have to make birdies. Rich, I think the thought of winning has to be removed from one psyche right now. You've just got to worry about what's in front of you. It just looks confused. Forgetting about playing the actual game itself. This isn't Winning happens by a series of good shots. It's get back to the basics of playing golf. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Well, the stats say that is a green hit in regulation, but it's not yet a par on the card. Very tough putt coming up. That was not a very good read right there. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Frank, it's been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Yeah, it's not exactly a small gap between uh, that player there and, uh, and the rest of the field. It's, that gap's got to feel like the Grand Canyon right now. All set here at the par 4 7th. Frank, what do players need to look out for off the tee? Uh, it's a rather uh, intimidating tee shot there since the trees have all been removed uh, that are, used to be very, very close to this fairway. Three bunkers down the right side, another two on the left. Um, they've either got to be uh, somehow threaded in between all the longest hitters might just be able to squeeze it past. That's nice to roll in a 25-footer now and then. Those feel good. But still, there's nothing like hitting that perfect tee ball. Long and straight. Yeah, you can puff out your chest, uh, last to play, the advantage, holes shorter. Basically, the list goes on. This has been just a pure display of ball striking all day long. Has not missed a single green. Every one in regulation. It's no snack, though. Good birdie right there. Yeah, this game, when you can't win, it's all about top 10s, top 20s. And currently, that's exactly where they stand. Ah, the par 3 eighth. This is where Angel Cabrera, Sunday at the U.S. Open in 2007, made a deuce, and it was set up to play at 300 yards on that final day. Now, this is all you want, Frank, in a par 3. Yeah, it was the first 300-yard par 3 ever in a U.S. Open. Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par 3. Pretty good shot right there. Might want to check the GPS on a putt this long.
Come on, you have to make that, don't you? Drop shot here at the eighth. These putts keep the round together. Ooh, so close. Those are painful from that distance. Yeah, just another one added to the card. Big mistake. This is a nine-footer. It happens. You have a tough hole. Time to pick up and move on after the triple bogey. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. This is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Flag stick 150 yards away. This is going to be a tough day on the links. I mean, even the seagulls are walking to work. Playing this par four still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with par. Frank, this is where the mental game really comes into play. You've hit a second consecutive shot into the rough. Yeah, this could compound very, very quickly. So now's the chance to just take a little breath, take a breather, and try to make sure this shot certainly gets out. Frank, not close, but from that lie, not bad. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. 14 feet to the hole. Oh, you can see the frustration. Almost kicked his putter head right there with a drop shot here at the fourth. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Tough game, Frank. You can hit 300-yard drives and miss three-foot putts. Yeah, there's the ecstasy, and that's the agony. This for double bogey. So, two over par for the round. Let's go over to the fifth hole. 
Frank, you know this. You can't win a tournament in the first round, but you can lose it. As we catch up with our featured golfer, they need to turn this around just to make the cut. And turn it around now. Yeah, that was a little overambitious. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Oh, that's off the beaten track. That's got five minutes to find it. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? All right, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. Shouldn't be a problem here. Not her best effort. Walks away with a bogey. Now at the sixth hole, it's a par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. Got to fly that. Uh, green's not too deep. So really, the challenge is trying to flight that ball in amongst the breeze should it kick up. Hoping to get this up and down here, Frank, at the par three after missing the green. Yeah, it's not all bad. And that's why on this golf course, Frank, there is a premium on hitting fairways. Uh, you're exactly right. Might be also protecting against a flight, but that did anything other than fly. Solid play, heart of the green. Been a rocky road to this point. Four over par on the round. Seventh hole at Lighthouse Point is only 370 yards, Frank. Are you happy if you walk out of here with anything other than birdie? If you hit the fairway, you definitely should be looking at birdie. But the biggest problem here is to decide, Rich, what club to hit off the tee. You could hit a multitude of clubs here. Further up you go, the narrower this fairway gets. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. Well, certainly playable from here. Ball is in the first cut, not too bad. That should be pretty good right there. On the safe side, that will be a great look at birdie. 12 feet still to go. Thought that at least pick up a shot. Birdie looked like a sitter. Now par to save par. Good putt. Another par three. We're at the eighth. It's only 165 yards, Frank. This is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. Great professionals, Frank. They don't fear the green side bunker shot, do they? No, because you can be as aggressive or as conservative as you want. You actually have far more options. And you don't have to hit the ball first. Great shot coming out of that bunker right there. Showing some skills today. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Chases that in for par to stay at four over.
We move to the ninth hole and we begin to go inland, Frank. I'll miss some of the views along the ocean. I won't miss the nerves with the potential of a golf ball sailing off into the Atlantic Ocean. That said, par five, you think about a scoring opportunity, but then I look at the score card and it says this is the number six handicap hole. That's pretty tough. It is, and the reason why is there's trouble both sides of this fairway, and uh, that's normally sand and cliffs. And the designer's really thrown the boat out. Excuse the pun. We are on the coastline here. This whole dog legs to the left, and uh, ideally, you just sort of like to go fairway, fairway pitch. That's the prudent way to play the hole. But of course, everybody likes to chance the driver and reach the par five and two. Miss, pay the price. Digs into the bunker, getting set to play the third shot. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. This is an awkward length. A filling it up today. Beautiful putt. And with that, we bid you farewell from the shores of Maine for EA Sports. Alongside Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live second round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. Frank, this game has taken us all over the world to some absolutely beautiful spots, and this is one of the prettiest I've seen in a long time, the cliffs at Lighthouse Point along the eastern coast of Maine. Yeah, it's always uh, fun when we hit up uh, in the northeast area. Golf's been in this area for a long, long time. This golf course hasn't, rather than new design by Brandt and Patel, and uh, it's lengthy, 7,700 yards. You'll get to hit just about every club in the bag, so good test today. This ball never even looked like it was going down the fairway, hitting way right. Uh, errant tee shot here, Rich, but going to have to muscle this one out of the rough. Second shot coming out of the rough here. That's a tough lie to come out of. Not surprising it's come up short. Well short right there, but still in the game for a par. All right now, another shot from the rough. Yeah, this time better be better than the one we just saw. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Locked in on the read and the speed. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. Now at the fifth hole, it's a par four. Frank, what are we in store for? Well, it's very easy to get lulled into a false sense of security here, Rich. No fairway bunkers. Just sort of think you would blaze away. But really, you've got to find the fairway here. Let's see what she's got here. She is loading up for the big one. That is just a beautiful shot. Yeah, about 145 yards left here. A 
another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Leaves that one about 20 feet out from the cut. Nicely played shot. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Go ahead and do that. What a putt. Par 3 sixth is relatively short, 198 yards, Frank. But this one, really, you've got to go airborne here. That bunker that protects the left side and front, you've got to carry that and get it to land soft so it doesn't skip through the back of the screen. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well played here. Went straight for the flag stick, and she will have a nice putt coming up. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. Now to the seventh hole here at Lighthouse Point. Frank, we all love the shorter par fours. There's so many decisions to be made here at seven. Uh, if you look at the scorecard, it's not very long, but when you start to flash your driver down that right side, you'll notice that fairway gets very narrow. So the decision is really that's the prudent play or not. From there, it's just a short iron in, and you should be looking at birdie. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Second shot coming out of the rough here. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? Oh, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Well, that wasn't a gimme, but it sure made it look easy. That concludes the second round here at this amazing golf course. And Frank, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, I certainly am as well. The players have gotten off to uh, a very good start and they must have a good feel for the course right now and know what they have to do in order to win. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. It's third round coverage of the Northeast Invitational. New course to most of the golfers on tour, this challenging layout just opened in 2015. Today we're along the east coast of Maine. Rich Lerner with Frank Nabila will be calling all the action from the cliffs at Lighthouse Point. Another great design from uh, Brand Patel, and they really threw the boat out here. Some uh, excellent choice of holes, 
and uh, you see the, the changes in elevation. You get this on a windy day, and of course 7,700 yards will play even longer than that. A nice calm day though, Rich, and you really can shoot a good score out here. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in on our featured golfer here at the first. Frank, it's a different feeling on the first tee on a weekend, third round of a championship like this than, say, on the first round, isn't it? You know you've got the grips of the golf course. You know the holes that are birdieable out there. More importantly, too, you know how well you're playing. It's all in front of you. Sport, especially like this at the highest level. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. All right, Frank, second shot. Yeah, it looks like a good lie. Um, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. Still got to check the win. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. Frank, that was the right thing to do. Yeah, there was no advantage to try and get any more out of that smart shot. This one has a chance to be close. So that one settles about 18 feet away from the cup. Pretty good shot. Getting set now over the putt. Wow, what a putt. That is huge. Now on the tee at the par three second, it's a long one. This will require a pure strike. Now at the second here at Lighthouse Point, Frank, this is some tough par three. If you want to try and uh, really break the hole down and, and be a purist here, Rich, you'd like to hit a little cut into this green, something that moves away from the water and the cliff back towards that bunker. That would be the perfect shot to hit. But such a difficult par three. Anything on the green would be good here. This is a good looking shot. On the green in regulation. This is a long putt. Really the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus. Looks like he just misread that. Shouldn't be a problem here. They'll take it. That's a par. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello back with you at the third hole here at the Cliffs. And this is a hole that offers up a chance to put a red number on the board, Frank. It certainly does. A good drive finding this very narrow fairway will certainly give you the opportunity to reach the green in two. Stray a little left, either with the drive or the second, and all of a sudden you might realize this par five has teeth. Whoop, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Well, where this ball's going, there's no fairway there, only rough. And setting up here in the rough. So she's rolled into that first cut. It's not a perfect line, but not bad either. Frank, this is where the mental game really comes into play. You've hit a second consecutive shot into the rough. Yeah, this could compound very, very quickly. So now's the chance to just take a little breath, take a breather, and try to make sure this shot certainly gets out. This is like cyber vision. Shot after shot, right at the flag. Just dialed in. Well, at last, a birdie.
Fourth hole is 411 yards, par four. And Frank, this is uh, the kind of hole where you, you want to pull out the cell phone and take a few pictures. The views are absolutely stunning. This ball never even looked like it was going down the field, like hitting way right. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lie. Second shot from the rough, it's on the way. Oh. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. That's still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with Pop. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Makeable punt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Right in the heart. Fifth hole now at Lighthouse Point. Frank, it's a beefy par four. Another hole without any fairway bunkers off the tee, but really the main defense here at the cliffs is the elements. Find the fairway, and uh, you'll also be hitting to a green, which uh, is protected by a little bunker to the right side of that, and short. Uh, so precision, once again, required here. Frank, look at that one run out. Just blistered that tee shot. No, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. It should be pretty good right there. We're on the safe side. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Frank, I thought that was in. Now, putt for putt. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Good par. Now at the sixth hold, so par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. Got to fly that. Uh, green's not too deep. So really the challenge is trying to flight that ball in amongst the breeze should it kick up. In the direction of the sand. It looks like it. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. 12 feet still to go. Takes care of business there. Solid strike. Frank, you've been there at so many tournaments around the world. One round to go, a chance to win. What's that feeling like? Oh, this is the fun part, uh, knowing whether or not your body can handle the situation. Um, you've got to push it to the limit. But that's what sport and golf is all about. Trying to do something that you've dreamed of for so long.
EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the start of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's the final round of the Northeast Invitational. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Second shot, good look at the green. No problems there, really good approach shot. And now, good look at birdie. Settles in over the putt. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Just sort of ho-hum pars. Time to make a move. The closing stretch here at number 16, par 3, 241 yards. This is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Needs a pair of binoculars to see the hole. That was not a very good read right there. These putts keep the round together. Great roll right there. Just a pure stroke right in the heart. Well, Frank, I love this par 517th. Not only is it fun to play, but if you head over the Juniata Crossway Bridge ahead, you can find Brent's Lobster Shack, which is one of the best lobster rolls I have ever had. And you know they specialize in that up here in Maine. But what a hole. Great Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf's the next one. Judging by that light, it's not going to be too hard. And now the second shot here at this par five. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. On the green, sure, but plenty of real estate between the ball and the hole. Huge chance to climb the leaderboard. A putt for Eagle. I don't know if that was a misread or what, Frank, but that one hurts. Yeah, she's uh, certainly going to have to um, pick up her socks after that. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I guarantee you, though, <clears throat> she thought she had that one. a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par and you keep things steady. Frank, it's been quite a journey to this point, but here we are, the 18th hole at Lighthouse Point. It looks like a dog leg left, or it should play like a dog leg left. You might stand on that tee and think that you can take the direct line. You can't get there from here, can ah, you? Good old main terminology there. So the goal really is to uh, somehow find that fairway down the right. And of course, it all depends on how far you fly that tee shot on the line you take. From there on in, just a short iron and maybe a chance to get another birdie and finish with a smile on your face. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Well, she just played a wonderful shot from back there.
goodbye. Well said, partner. What a day it's been from the cliffs at Lighthouse Point. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner, and we hope to see you next time. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the second leg of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Deutsche Bank Championship. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabila. We're at the TPC Boston in Massachusetts. Frank, this is a really good-looking golf course. Fun golf course, too, Rich. It starts off with a relatively soft par four, not very long, and then, of course, the fourth hole. Remember that on TV. It's a drivable par four, five, really. This beautiful dog leg left par four. I think it's one of the prettiest holes on the golf course. Reminds me of Sunningdale in England. Seven's a par five. Two good hits. You might better get home. Uh, don't don't talk about the ninth to Phil Mickelson. Never really likes that hole at all. So I made a mess of it over the years. A uh, good finish there at 18. But really, if you want to look at maybe a tough stretch in the back nine, 13, 14. If you make a couple of pars through there, then you've done well. Surely not. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. And getting ready for the putt. Almost. Wow. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Well, with that drop shot, moves to one over for the tournament. Moving on now to the 12th, and Frank, describe this hole for us. Sneaky good par four. It's long enough, you know, sort of that 450, 460 mark. Bends a little to the left. Really, you want to be in the middle of the fairway here, because that second shot with the green just tilting towards the hazard, one of the toughest second shots you have on the golf course. Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. And setting up here in the rough. That's an absolute beauty.
You like this one, Frank? Oh, it's a good one. Safely on. It's at sneaky distance. Well, Frank, you hear it so often. This is a game of dealing with your miscues. That's the beauty of this game of golf. Uh, it giveth and it taketh away. Well, a missed opportunity, no doubt. So they'll tap in. So with that, three over par now for the round. Coverage continues at EA Sports. Let's go out now to our featured golfer at the 13th. Frank, what's the mindset this late in the first round when you haven't played your best? Well, somehow you've got to get into the clubhouse, minimize the damage. And you've also got to figure out what's gone wrong. A little trip to the range, fix it up. Tomorrow will be a better day. Oh, that's off the beaten track. That's you've got five minutes to find it. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Frank, this one's not looking good. Yeah, certainly not down the fairway line, heading toward the rough. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. That is classy. Well, a chance of going in. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Frank at the 14th down. Anytime you get a par four that is almost 500 yards, it gets your attention. It does play downhill, though, so you don't have to smash your way here. It's better if you can get something moving a little right to left. Then it will take the natural slope. You get a little more yardage out of it that way. Good contact, good result. Vijay Singh, Charlie Hoffman, and Big Henrik Stenson, they all have one thing in common. They all tie for the low tournament score at TPC Boston, 22 under. And they're all good. Yeah, this is a golf course that uh, obviously gives in to the longer hitters. And if there's just a little bit of sting taken out of the greens, then these long hitters have a huge advantage. Wouldn't call it a great approach shot, but it, it still ends up in the fringe. A little bit of magic from here. It's, the hole's not over. Wow, what a shot. What are the chances of making it from there? Back here at the part four, 14, ready to tee off. This is a big dog leg to the left, 495-yard hole, Frank. Yeah, don't try and hug that left side too much. There's a bunch of little mounds, and the chances of getting a good lie there, next to none. Long drive, but a bad lie. A uh, wicked. Frank, what's the best way to get at the golf ball when it's sitting down just a bit in the rough? You have to accept the fact first and foremost that you're not going to get clean contacts. So you have to decide whether the ball's going to come out short or it's going to fly. Because very rarely will it come out the normal distance of what you hit on the fairway. So if it's a little thin and wispy, chances are it might fly. If it's nestled down, you're going to have to take at least another club. Pretty long putt right here. You'd be happy to get it to within two, three feet.
Looks like he just misread that. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. That's costly right there. Painful. So a tester from four feet. Losing a bit of ground now in this tournament. With the bogey, falls to two over. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now.